Have you ever seen one of these before? Hell no. No? What do you think of it? Bad as fuck. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's day one of the rally. We're going to Vegas. Let's get rolling. Good morning. We're taking off. Damon's not messing around. We are leaving at 8.15 sharp. Follow right Daily, Daily Driven Exotics if you haven't Vehicle already. Versions, if you haven't What's subscribed. Up? Look at this thing. Yeah, that's right. Subscribe to my channel. You have too many. I have a I have a slower Huracan, so if you want a faster <laughs> one, there you go. As some of you guys know, I'm super into watches. MBMF makes the sickest watches. That is a gnarly ride in the snow. That's a daily too. <laughs> that's so Johnny. sick. Yeah. This is gonna be a ridiculous trip. See, this is the problem with supercars. We've made it about uh, two miles and everyone's out of gas, unfortunately. All right, I love Lamborghini, but this is dumb. It's right where the hood the is. The way you put it. <laughs> Rumor has it, this is the first 2017 Nismo GTR in the country right there. Oh wait, stop, 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 stop. This saved his ass. I never thought I'd see a Scuderia in the snow on a rally. Oh, triple camera, bro. This has been a blast so far. It looks absolutely beautiful out. The actual road is clear, but we got tons of snow on the mountains. Hanging out with Damon. His car is, his car is wicked. It's unbelievable. We're having a party for the next six and a half hours in here. <laughs> We're gonna get to know it's each other. It's gonna get weird. Really weird, yeah, oh yeah. We're gonna hold hands. Oh, sorry, sorry. He's Canadian, so all he says is A, sorry, and about. A, sorry, about? Yep. All right, we got an officer following us, although when we passed him, none of us were speeding. So he's probably just coming to check it out uh, to make sure nobody's going too fast, which happens most rallies, but it, it's, uh, got some reports of KA band on the radio. He's got his lights on, but it can't be for us. No one was doing anything wrong. He's probably backing up. Uh, coming up from the back with his yeah, lights he's... on. <laughs> one thing about this rally is this is the best scenery of any rally I've ever been on. They're always going to big cities for the parties and all that, which is great. But this also does that, but cuts through some absolutely incredible roads. The snow is getting less and less, but look at these mountains, for God's sakes. I don't want to jinx it, but there's been absolutely no traffic so far. These roads are beautiful, just sweeping through the mountains. And you can cruise at uh, whatever speed under the speed limit that you wish to. It's been determined that these jackets are actually too good, so I'm we're so sweating hot. our ass off. Uh, he took his off. Look at that Rentec SLS. Pull over, restart. Now Damon thought the SLS wasn't gonna make it because it's rear wheel drive in the snow, but uh, it turns out now it's having a mechanical issue. Check engine lights on. We're gonna try just turning it on and off. The SLS has a check engine light on, so we are uh, pulling over to check it out. View and a half right there. Snowy mountains, awesome supercars. So now I know a lot of people say that this wrap looks like seen through glasses wrap. They actually bought the material at the same time unknowingly. That's kind of ironic. This is dope. Them doors though. Oh shit, what are these doors? Oh, don't bring out the door. Oh, I'm sorry. I got the same problem, man, it's fine. Look at this fool with the door open. On my Huracan, these three buttons here are blank and they don't do anything. And I've never seen another Huracan with them like filled. So maybe it's some Canadian spec thing. It, it's cruise control. Uh, yes. So look, no, no foot on the gas. Yeah. So look, no foot on the gas. Okay, well watch this. Have you ever sped up with your finger? How about supercharged speed up? <laughs> supercharged acceleration. Oh. Look at these roads, this is insane. The scenery never fails to amaze me. We got fireworks up ahead. Bad Jack's fireworks up ahead. It appears the only thing in this town that they sell is uh, fireworks. Hello, officer. We may be heading back. 
But US oh, Army. U.S. Army. Oh. All right. Yeah, yeah. Drive the G wagon up there and pretend uh, you know what you're doing. Damn, that sign just said this Hawthorne is the world's largest ammo depot. This is actually how you become good at drifting. You, you drive like this. How many miles <laughs> to the next stop? Is it for fuel or is it for lunch? Oh, I can't even stay <laughs> <in> my city. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Glad it had a wide opening. <laughs> doing a little rest stop. Let's check out the car, shall we? Parker, we're doing, we're doing a photo shoot in front of the right. building. Oh, I'm down, I'm down. See, in San Francisco, this would be $2 million. The peel out. After several hundred miles of driving without a radar detector, <laughs> it turns out that Damon has a radar detector and it was just underneath the seat, so we got it getting hooked up. You had a 458 and now you have a Huracan. Yeah. What are some of the things that you liked about you liked about the Huracan more than the 458 and things that you miss about the 458? First and foremost, luggage space. Four, five, Ferraris in general have a lot of luggage room because they yeah. have a longer design in the, in the front end. So the 458, and the Scud can both take two uh, carry-on roller bags and two duffels in the front, no problem. Yeah. Plus like extra shoes and stuff around. The Huracan would take a briefcase. I wonder if it's any different than mine because since it's all-wheel drive, like they don't, they've got a lot of extra powertrain. I checked it out. There. It's the same. Okay. Yeah. The the because I wanted to know for a D, uh, for a DBE episode. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna do. So I looked. I haven't done it yet, but yeah, it's. Uh, the, the uh, 610, the 580, and the Spider are all the same. Gotcha. Yeah. The, yeah. One, the one thing I do like about the Huracan, and I don't know that's a fair comparison because this is a newer car. Yeah. But um, this has way more tech. Like, I mean, the stereo in this is actually it's really, awesome. It's really good. The stereo in the 458, now it's not as bad as the Scud, but it still wasn't good. And then this has just lots of, like, you know, creature comforts and luxury, but then the, the Ferrari, hands down, better visibility. And um, while driving, I mean, this car feels more planted. It feels a little heavier. Yeah. There were the Ferrari feels a little more nimble. So I felt a little more confident. Maybe it was because I had the car and I owned it for so long, drifting it. Yeah. But this car is taking a bit to learn how to drift. Sure. It drifts actually better once you get it into a drift. It actually holds the line better than the form of it. Cool. Yeah. roads you dream about. Nice sweeping high speed turns through beautiful snow, no traffic, with a bunch of supercars in front and behind you. This is absolutely epic. Yeah, this is really cool. Thanks for doing the commentary. Of course. Of course. No, just 37 miles from the field. Yeah, tell, 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 tell us, just go around us. We just, we just want to film it. got an update on the SLS. Now it won't go into reverse, which is a bit concerning. So they're trying to do some diagnostic work on the run, but probably not gonna be able to figure out too much. Stradman's in the dirt, classic. Got a huge line of cars behind us going, what the hell is going on? Because I doubt too many people from around this area have seen cars like this, but that's the fun part. So I think the ultimate question of today is, should I supercharge my Huracan? I know like, the I don't think yes. anyone's going to say no to that. <laughs> well, um, someone might say no to twin turbo. Yeah, so there's the bolt-on level twin turbo. They're, they're all about the same horsepower, about 800 horsepower for that. The supercharger is 800 horsepower. I believe the supercharger is a little bit cheaper and a little bit more reliable, but I could be totally making that up. Here's the big thing. The big thing is actually the install. The install of the supercharger and the engineering is four to five days. Yeah, 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 versus in, months. In or out. Also, a TT almost nine times out of 10, you have to cut something to put it in. This, I didn't know that. nothing gets cut. That's pretty nice. Obviously, I haven't had the best uh, luck with superchargers, given my M5, but this obviously comes with an intercooler. And then I think it, it has a air water mix. We just, for, passed. we just got passed by a Kia. I'm not even joking. Wait, what? Well, I just lost my supercar, supercharger. Okay, so car. I think the answer is we're not gonna get a supercharger because we got passed by a Kia. <laughs> so I want you guys to comment below what you think I should film for the vlog on this rally. Cause I, you guys say that you love the rally vlogs, but I kind of feel like it's just me in the car going, yeah, this is a Huracan, it's sweet. And then we stop at gas stations. I'm like, yeah, they get bad gas mileage, it's sweet. So let me know what you want me to focus on. Have you ever seen one of these before? Hell no. No? What do you think of it? 
bad as fuck. <laughs> what about the interior? You were freaking out, man. Yeah, it's fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. What town are we in? Tonopah. Tonopah, Nevada. Excellent. So we got an update on the SLS. Pulled the battery, waited 10 minutes, and now it's no longer in limp mode. We still got the check engine light on, but the owner says that's normal. Normal, totally. We've also got about six cops waiting for us down the road, so we're gonna pass them, go on the speed limit. It's possible they follow us uh, all the way to our destination, but let's hope not. There's that cop, right away. You ready for the slowest overtake of a McLaren of all time? Oh yeah. I just passed him doing 26, he's doing 25. Yeah. <laughs> we got a sheriff right over there. We've got uh, cruise control and cylinder deactivation. And what is this car now? It is no longer the Lamborghini Huracan. La Prius. No, it's actually the La Prius Guini. Yeah. Oh my God, we just got passed by a Hyundai Elantra. Now, even better, what you didn't see on camera that I saw in my rear view mirror, yeah. my side mirrors, he not only passed us, he passed all of us in one shot. <laughs> He was, he passed, he That's was, nuts! He was in the left lane forever. What do you guys think of these dope new stickers? They're gonna be for sale soon. Information on my Instagram, Vehicle Virgins. We're in Goldfield. Is this where Gold Member lives? Old Ghost Town. Oh, cool. Whoa. Oh, wow, look at this. Like, no, no crap. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. Looks like there's another cop up ahead there on the right as well. <laughs> but don't worry, we're going 25. There he is. And so this really puts into perspective how powerful this car is. In seventh gear, at 140, 150 miles an hour, if you punch it, the traction control light turns on. Check this out. Look at that flashing. Look at that grin on his face. On face. We just passed the Area 51 Alien Center. And we wanted to stop because we wanted to show you guys, but everybody else, when we asked on the radio, yeah, no dance. one else on the rally wanted to go. <laughs> oh, that's not even close. We just legitimately destroyed. Ah, that 12C. Oh my god. That in itself almost convinces me because that's uh, that's an incredible car and it just, we're, we're only at 700 horsepower. It's got another 100 that they're gonna add after this and we're on snow tires. So get this, the only people to get a ticket so far on the rally were the guys carrying luggage because they were too far behind to have any communication. Let's see. How much is the ticket? Cause you know I'm paying that. <laughs> Sure That's why you guys don't give a fuck. You're like, write the ticket. Well, Damon's I, paying for it. I just want to go to jail. I'm like, what's going to happen? This is like, in Canada, this would be like two weeks in jail. No. How, how fast? fast? How fast are you? 170 or 160? Holy shit. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm more, you know what's cool? That's evidence that you could do 100 in a luggage truck. <laughs> <laughs> was the guy impressed or was he pissed? Oh, he pissed. Did he say sorry when he came up or no? That's no, all in Canada. You want, sorry, <laughs> You're like, oh, sorry, sorry. 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 Uh, like, a? Why are you apologizing? All right, come back. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you better be sorry. That's unbelievable. <laughs> So you know how I just made that video on filling up with the car on? Well, this guy's doing this right now. <laughs> it's pretty funny. We're going into Vegas. I can see the stratosphere and Johnny in the 650S has his door open on the freeway. <laughs> That's absurd. I guess we, we, went to the front. The, we went to the wrong valet. We gotta go to the front valet. Only in Vegas can you yeah. go to the wrong valley. <laughs> These are not meant for supercars. Hey, I'm glad that we don't have the wide body 458. Yeah, for real. All right, now we are actually at the correct entrance to the Aria. We're this at one of the 30 valleys Yeah, there's here. 40 different uh, front entrances to this hotel. The scale of Vegas is ridiculous. The Just the size of the hotel is funny. First day of Snowball Rally, everyone's here. Nobody broke down while we had some hiccups. Only one ticket, hell of a drive. Beautiful scenery. It's gonna be a good night too. Oh, what's up, dude, what's up? <laughs> Check out our room at the Aria. 
this hotel is looking pretty good so far. Although they seem to let everyone up to their rooms without their room key except for me. I don't know, maybe it's because I had my camera out. But check out this view and we've got an electric shade, it's awesome. Vegas is definitely all about the lights. <laughs> 